Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feasts. Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. Today we're going to do something I've never done before. I found this video on online, on Pinterest actually, and I'll have to give shout outs to who I found it from in the description below. But it's Hawaiian Sticky Chicken. I wanted to try this. It looked good. So we're going to give this a shot. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and share the video guys. I really appreciate it. So let's get started with the Hawaiian Sticky Chicken. So to get started with this, as I always do, I introduce my supporting cast. There's quite a few ingredients to this, but don't let that intimidate you. Start of the show is, of course, the chicken. I got three chicken breasts, equals out to about two pounds. These may be a little bit more, because they're quite big. Then from here, I got my minced garlic. And this is what I've never heard of. Wander, I guess is how you pronounce it. But it's basically instant flour. So they had this in the recipe, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Of course, I got my pink Himalayan sea salt. It calls for apricot or apricot, however you pronounce it, wherever you're from. But it calls for that. I didn't have any, so I'm using um, some orange marmalade. And then sesame seeds for a topping. I'm using some pre-made uh, teriyaki sauce here. Some crushed red pepper, flakes, hoisin sauce. If you guys don't know about that, go check it out. It's really like a barbecue, sweet barbecue Asian sauce. Uh, most of the time from Korea. Um, you got chicken broth, crushed pineapples, pineapple juice, and soy sauce. So that's all the ingredients, guys. Um, and I'm gonna put some little scallions on top as a uh, you know as for a presentation but that's all the ingredients let's get started making this thing first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our chicken so I'm gonna take the three chicken breasts and I'm just gonna place them in the pressure cooker by the way if I didn't mention it we're doing this in the pressure cooker today I think the recipe calls for a slow cooker but what's better than a pressure cooker so anyway we're gonna put the chicken in there just like that next thing we're gonna add is it calls for about three cloves of garlic you know me and garlic, uh, three cloves, maybe about a tablespoon. I'm going to put just a tad bit more. You know me and garlic. All right, it also calls for one cup of pineapple juice. I'm going to put that in there just a tad bit more. All right. The next thing it calls for is a chicken broth. It calls for about three cups, but I'm going to put in about three quarters of a, one of these containers here. Just regular old chicken broth. If you're on a no sodium diet, just go ahead and use the low sodium. It's great. And then it also calls for, I'm putting one can of crushed pineapple in here. And then, of course, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of um, my pink Himalayan sea salt. Guys, and that's it. So I'm going to stir this around in here, just mix this up a little bit with the chicken. I swear, it doesn't look like something I would normally cook, but it looks pretty good when it's done. So we're going to give it a try together. All right, so it's all mixed up in there. So we're gonna cook the chicken because this is gonna come out as shredded chicken when we're done. So I'm gonna put the top on a pressure cooker. So on this, chicken doesn't take very long, about 15, 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it up here, meat and chicken button. I'm gonna increment it to high. Then I'm gonna bring the time down to about 20 minutes. You're gonna see it go around and around like it always does. You're gonna start for me, there we go. It's gonna build pressure at that point. And then once the pressure is built, then you'll see the time start counting down 
from uh, 20 minutes. So we're gonna leave that on for 20 minutes. We're gonna cook our chicken, we're gonna shred it up. Then I'll add the rest of the ingredients, guys. I'll be back in about two seconds. The next thing we're gonna do, I poured most of the juice out, but reserve about two and a half to three cups of, of the pineapple sauce that cooked the, you cooked the chicken in. Because I'm gonna add what should be the apricot, but I'm using the sweet orange man, mandarin jelly. So I'm gonna put in about, it calls for about a half a cup. I'm gonna put in probably a half a cup, just a tad bit more. There we go. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is my soy sauce, which is going to be about, eh, about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. There we go. All right, and then after that, we're simply just gonna add teriyaki sauce. And like I said, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using some store-bought pre-made teriyaki sauce. About two tablespoons of this. That was a little more than two tablespoons. But I like teriyaki sauce. And then we're gonna add our hoisin sauce. Like I said, if you're not familiar with hoisin sauce, it's basically a Korean barbecue sauce. So we're gonna add about a quarter of a cup. I might do a little bit more than that. Because I like the flavor of it. There we go. And then we're gonna add our crushed red peppers. Be careful with this, it depends on how much heat you wanna add. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a teaspoon in here. The next thing is the one thing I don't know much about, and that is the Wonder Flour. From what I've read about it, it's basically just a thickener. So you could use cornstarch if you want it. Um, but this allows you to put it right into your substance without having to dilute it in water. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon, just a little bit more. We're going to mix this all together here. And we're going to turn on the pressure cooker. Just a moment here. Now that, that flour, that instant flour, it dissolves pretty well from what I hear. So you don't have to mix it with water or any kind of cold substance like you do cornstarch. You can actually see it thickening up now. I'm gonna turn this on in sear mode. So it'll get hot. All right guys, look at this. Look how it's boiling up there. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks real good. Let me stir it up just a little bit. And it's thickened up really nicely. So now I'm just gonna add my chicken back to the mixture. Pour all that in it. Let that sauce mar let it marinate in that sauce. Oh man. It's looking good, looking good guys, looking good. So now I'm not even gonna put the lid on the pressure cooker. I'm gonna let that marinate for about five, six minutes or so. Let, this, let that sauce get nicely incorporated with the chicken. And then I'm gonna plate this up for you guys. This is an easy, easy one pot, whether it's a pressure cooker or whether it's a, a slow cooker, it doesn't matter. I just happen to be using the pressure cooker today. So we're gonna let this marinate for a second and I'll plate it up for you guys. All right guys, so there you go. Sticky Hawaiian chicken, Hawaiian sticky chicken. Perfect comfort meal straight from Hawaii. I'm not Hawaiian, but I wanted to try this. It, it looks so good, guys. It looks incredible. And it only took really about 15, 20 minutes to actually prepare. Hawaiian sticky chicken in a bowl. Very simple, took 15, 20 minutes, that's all it took. I'm gonna take a little bite. Get some chicken. Now I served this over rice, if you guys didn't know. It'd be perfect in a taco or something like that. Oh, it'd be wonderful. I'm taking me a bite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys. That's the first time I cooked that. And you guys need to have your first time cooking it. That is absolutely wonderful. Over a bowl of rice, it really works. Hey, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Make sure you share the video. 
Hey guys, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.